Back in 1990, a study was done to show that Barbadians throw away a thousand tons of garbage every day. And a thousand tons is real blasted garbage. And we later found out that 75% of that thousand tons is actually recyclable material. And apart from that thousand tons, they still got whatless brutes that chuck garbage on the road every day. Too many times we just walk the streets and see condom wrappers, empty bag of zoomers, and pet bottles scattered about the place. And the majority of this garbage that you find on the street just find its way to the gully and then to the sea. But why is this a problem? When the rain falls, the garbage that is on the street runs off into the drain and clogs it, which then causes flooding, which is problems. And the rest of the garbage that didn't clog the drain just end up in the gully, which is more problems. Gullies are our primary water courses. What that means is that most of the water that we get to drink and bathe in passes through the gully. The garbage from the gully either flows out to sea or contaminates our water. And that whole water quality thing is a whole different story and that's for a different video another time. So for now I can tell you about the sea. When it goes out to sea, it affects the ecosystem and it's just problems for we. Firstly, when the garbage is end up on the reef, some of the foolish fish is going to eat it. Then we end up eating the same nasty chemicals that was in the garbage in the first place. Secondly, it ends up washing up on the beach. Studies show that for some tourists, viewing no litter on the beach is directly proportional to the overall quality of the beach itself. And beach quality directly affects the tourist's willingness to return to that beach. In other words, when they see the beach that stink, they ain't gonna walk on back. Truthfully, Barbados is one of the top 15 most dependent countries on tourism. And we don't really need the tourists, we just need the money. And without them, then we can be wrecked. And we need to keep the place clean in order for people to come back. So the next time that you decide to go by the beach and park out, don't throw the condom out the window, put it in your pocket and wait till you get home. So throwing the garbage on the street is basically the same thing as throwing the garbage in front of somebody's house. Because in some way it's end up somewhere that somebody's used. 